Yeah, I think there's, um, you know, cloud by default, everybody has this notion that cloud is on the user's doorstep. And that's kind of the first mistake. You know, if you look at Office 365, there are an immense amount of um, opportunities and improvements and, and, and ways to move the business forward using technology like that. But at the same time, you have users, whereas if your Office 365 tenant is based in Europe, for example, that's great for your users that are based in Europe. But for the same users that might be based in Asia or, or, or Africa or, or even in the US for that matter, you now have that notion of distance, you have latency, you have all kinds of challenges related to, to connectivity and, and security. And that kind of gets forgotten or it becomes kind of a secondary thing which needs to be addressed. So, you know, what the industry is trying to do, um, again, is sort of evolve technologies that were relevant for similar challenges in the past, but make them relevant in the, in the era of cloud. And that's what we've spent years, um, you know, doing with our customer base and our technologies as well. So absolutely, you have, you know, the Office 365 or any you know, one of the mainstream um, SaaS applications, but also where you have organizations migrating from more premise-based infrastructure data centers into ultimately new data centers, but what we'd call cloud data centers. Um, that's a big challenge in itself. How do you a map how those applications are actually uh, configured across the servers to to the new world? Um, that's, a, that's a huge challenge to actually do those sort of migrations. And it doesn't really matter what sector you're in. If you are looking to make those changes, then the tooling is key.